Hello, this is Jan from JC WebTech. I create videos with tutorials and tips and tricks for Elementor and web design in general. And today I would like to show you how to create this model pop-up with a preview of your custom post type or a blog post. With the help of uh, this plugin, uh, Elementor add-on elements. So uh, let's dive into it. So first uh, we will need we will need the plugin. I already have it installed. Elementor add-on for elements. So it's free plugin with a bunch of uh, things. So let's if I go to the settings. can see it has uh, a lot of things that you can uh, you can use but we are going to disable everything except the model pop-up okay save changes and second step is to create a template so templates and I already have this one prepared so let's just quickly preview it so basically I have a layout with some information and it is all pulled dynamically so I have obviously I have a custom post type created with chat engine that's uh, I suppose you already have that as well and now you are searching how to how to preview the information or if it is a, a blog post you don't need to create a custom post type obviously and so here in this template for the preview in our pop-up I have all the information is dynamic so you can see it's a custom field from the custom wife custom post type class and it's the duration here is the, just the title and uh, this is a custom field that is the description here this is actually not dynamic and the, but the image is the featured image of the custom post type but you might in your use case it can be a little different but the general idea is that we have a template for a section with our dynamic content and here I already have the content from one of the posts of my custom post type classes because I have selected it here to preview it better what is going on so once we have this uh, section ready you can go back so this is my section template and now i have to go to jet engine listings or in case you are using uh, ally custom uh, loops it will be a little different but the idea is the same and i go to classes which is the the listing of my of my custom post type classes and it with Elementor so this is again like my dynamic content and here I will add the model from the plugin the model widget from the plugin we installed and I will set it up so let me just style it so that we can actually see it so I'll give it a color just... no it's for the title so it's this this color so perhaps let's keep it white for the button we choose color dark for the text we can put the icon after choose some more suitable icon and maybe with some margin on top twenty twenty and us 
so we need to um, tweak the, the hover style so we get rid of the background but we give a different color let's say like something like this and we can get rid of the padding because in this case I will not be using it as a as a button just want a link here so content maybe instead of click me preview and for the content we choose here saved section which is the saved section template we created before which we called elementor section for model and just choose it here and now when I click on it I have the content here so that let me update it then preview the home page and voila here we have our model in our custom loop so this is little undesired here but i guess it will work well if i don't have the admin bar here so for a visitor should be fine so this is a very useful feature and it's a shame it's not possible to do it with elementor without any other plugin but well it's still quite simple but you should be careful when using it because there should be always a way how to enter the separate page for this post because if you are just previewing opening the content in the model it doesn't have very good impact on your seo because any content that is inside of the model the keywords and the content is not really gonna be indexed by google and also it helps you for seo if you have multiple urls multiple pages with related content but each page focusing on different particular subtopic of your, your main topic of your website so it is not recommended to use it as the main way how to open your content of your blog post or custom post for that matter so just be aware of that and although it may look tempting and modern to do this like one page blog kind of website uh, it's not good uh, for SEO so uh, yeah with that in mind I think it's a great feature to to add to your website so if you have uh, some interesting implementation of this uh, share the result and also if you are thinking about getting Elementor Pro uh, I have some affiliate links in the description and uh, so it would really help me out if you would use them and I would be able to create more videos like this. It has been a lot of fun and there was a lot of support for, from you guys. So definitely see you in the next one.